I'm Stevie V. This is Jake. We're uh, Three Wheel Bicycle out of Casper, Wyoming. Fuck yeah. We got, we got some cool shit tonight, huh? We're doing oh, some cool. giveaway for some tickets. Hell yeah. What is it for? Uh, Wyo City Jams. 2021. 2021. Summer Jam. We got, uh, well, we have the man that's putting it all on right now. Oh yeah? Our guest? Lee Hardy, choo choo choo, you're yeah. up, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Hey, you're choo very welcome. Thank, welcome you, Thank you for having me. You are very welcome. Oof. And we have, here's a cool thing. Maybe we should just start doing this with all the guests so that way it kind of surprises people. Here's a special guest. <laughs> are you surprised, oh. yeah. motherfuckers? Yeah. Hey, it's Travis. And Travis. he's uh he's with the shivers. Travis all oh, yeah. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> so stoked. Thanks for coming, guys. Hell yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Happy Dude, Friday. Do you, you guys, guys do you guys I didn't, I didn't take this shot Do you guys purposely have taller guests and the flat like the taller chairs and the guests to flex on them? Uh <laughs> negative. <laughs> <laughs> This is like some Letterman shit. You know how like Letterman used to you know sit what? like a foot. Was it Letterman or Leno that used to sit like a foot taller? Like his chair, his floor behind his desk was taller. It's, it's, a, right it's a power move. You know I respect it, man. Give I'm not, me I'm my not fucking hating. moment of glory. This Dude. doesn't happen ever. Okay. Jake is seven feet tall. Uh, yeah, and has a giant <laughs> penis. Oh wait, where's Shaq? Where's uh, uh, Shaq's over there? Oh shit. Uh, Shaq's right there. Yeah. So I, I, I get, we better start it off. So uh, you guys have to in order to win these two. Two sets of two tickets. You have to tag somebody that you're going to bring with. Yeah. And at the end of the show, the show, then we're going to uh, draw the winner. Oh, yeah. you got to share this. Oh, yeah. you got to share it. So do you comment yep. on comment. the live stream yep. Yep. and tag right someone, now. right? Like, yeah. Okay, okay, man. Yeah, throughout the show, we're going to cut her up at some point. Right at the end, we're going to... Draw right before we black yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just, just kidding. <laughs> but maybe not. <laughs> That's a joke. Sorry, Mom. Yeah. Where's my... Damn, uh, I was gonna say you should call your podcast that, but then I realized there's already one called that. Your mom's house? Yeah, that's Tom Segura's and his wife's. Have you ever heard Tom Segura, like his comedy or like any of his stuff? Uh, no Gosh, dude, he is super funny. Tom Segura? Oh yeah, I know. Shit, that thanks for everybody for everybody for tuning in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, hey, hey Ryan, I'm like right in the middle of the podcast. So you can't keep calling me repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. So everybody watching, yeah, yeah, go ahead and tag who you this... want to bring to Wyo City Summer Jam. Uh, we can talk about that real quick, or we can get into other shit. We can all yeah, well, should, we, should, we, get, should we? But yeah, if you do, sorry. You uh, let me, let me uh, get into our uh, sponsor, Mobile Onsite yes. Oil. Larry, that's Larry, yes, right? Yes, it is. 1402 Great people. East Second Street. They give discounts to uh, military teachers, bus drivers, just good people doing good things. Um, and you get a free popsicle while yeah. you get your oil changed. Yeah, and Larry and his wife, it's Larry and Lori. Yeah. They're like the nicest people. They so are. I didn't even know they were a sponsor. That's super cool because yeah. they are just like the best people. So yeah. that's Lubrication really... Larry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> super cool. Great people. And then uh, the little shop of burgers. Uh, they give out, if you guys go down there, uh, they give out sack lunches during the day. Dude, they, I read that. They give, yeah. like, if, if a kid that normally gets free lunch at school or whatever the case may be and, and their family's struggling financially, they'll give them a free lunch. Is mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is super fucking cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that on, on social media. It was like, mm -hmm. dang, yeah. what a nice thing. They got kids night on Thursdays, too. Oh, that's right. Yep. So. If you buy a regular meal, your kid eats for free. Wow. So, yeah, you're really hungry. And yeah. you know, kids Check out Little Shop of Burgers. Uh, I'm not being rude. I'm just trying to figure out how to share this on social media. <laughs> and I still don't know how. What else do we got? Jake, what do uh, I do? Uh, okay. So, go to your page? Keep going. Mm -hmm. We'll be live somewhere. Yeah, right there. Uh, oh, oh Trailer Park Baker. Baker. There's already an angry get... face on it. Cool. Oh, sweet. We've already offended yeah. someone. You suck. <laughs> Dang you. 
cool. That, this aggression will yeah. not stand, yeah. dude. You have to. We're positive people. Cool, yeah. dude. We're trying to help you out here. You yeah. Can't be mad about it. Somebody's big mad. Uh, Trailer Park Baker. She uh, does cakes and stuff. Check her out on Facebook. Yeah. Definitely She's not. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah way cool shit. Like, way cool. And the coolest person ever. Yeah. Yep. KT. Yeah. What's her name? So all you gotta do is just comment on here, and then you get your name in. We'll draw at the end of the show. So, Lee, do you want to tell us about this? I do. Sweet festival. But I just forgot my water. You gotta give me a minute. Can we? Man. You're cool. Can we? Man. Can we? Let's talk to Travis first. Okay, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Life, you just got off yeah. tour. I'll be right back. You just got off tour. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Yeah. That show is amazing. That yeah, it. so good. It yeah, was fun. So, where'd you guys end up all going? So Casper, Laramie, uh, Colorado Springs, and then we took some days off, and then we went Bozeman Sheridan. Nice, dude. So which one was the best join out of them? Colorado Springs is a bucket list place, and uh, Sheridan kicked ass. So those guys, they want they want to rock out up there. So that's cool, yeah. man. I didn't know that Sheridan would actually have a scene, but I know there's a pretty good skate scene there. There's we had a, no idea. There's a decent skate park there. Have you ever been to that one? No. It's pretty cool. It's old. It was like way before ours. It's like a big fucking concrete bowl with like this big steep ramp into it. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. It is cool. But, uh, yeah, there's some good fucking bands out of Sheridan, isn't there? Dead Ender. We were pretty stoked. So we, uh, Dead Ender opened. Those guys are rad. So we'll have them in Casper. They were pretty sick. The funniest story was Cole. So Colorado Springs. So we finished that show and it's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm just gonna and stand. Cole didn't eat anything. <laughs> Cole didn't eat anything like since like lunchtime. Oh, sure. So like after the show, we're trying to. He's. I'm like, dude, let's go find you something to eat, you know. And I had quite a few beers, and uh, there was checkpoints every. Like we get to this one intersection, we're oh. like, oh shit, we gotta hop on the highway, uh-huh. and. Uh, it didn't really, like, occur to me, like, what was going on. But then all of a sudden, like, we get to the next intersection. There's, like, cops standing outside their car. And we're just, I'm just like, dude, I'm not cool with this. Like, yeah. we should just park right now and we'll just walk to our <laughs> hotel. <laughs> but, yeah. Which town were you in? I missed the beginning. I have Colorado <laughs> Springs. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So we get up the next day. Cole's, we ended up not feeding him. Poor guy. We get up the next day and he's like, dude, I'm totally good. We made it to Del Taco in Firestone. Oh, yeah. And he ordered all this food and just scarfed it. Dude, yeah, it, was yeah. a, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, it was, yeah, it was awesome. fun. That's cool, man. That is cool. And you guys, I, I missed the beginning, too. You guys toured a sack and sack. Uh, God, I always want to call them the UK subs. The UK, we, so we went with the UK <laughs> subs. Yeah, we went with the Sex exploited. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. it was the dumbest tour ever, dude. Waddy was fading. Yeah, dude. Uh, Sack was so good. Gunners oh, yeah. UK. Yeah. We played with <laughs> Sack's other band called Death Trophy. Um, we played. Uh, a cool name for a band. Yeah. Yeah, way cool. They are awesome. They have a new album out. It's super good. We played with Shock Troopers in Laramie. Dude, Those guys are sick. Yeah, out of Rock Springs. Those guys kick ass. Dude. We played with Jerk in Colorado Springs. We played. Oh dang, we ca- caught those guys here. Here, bro. that was yeah. really cool. We played with Death Trophy in Bozeman, and then Dead Ender in Sheridan. It was wow. it was awesome. It was. You guys I fucking bet. lined up with some cool ass folks, dude. We got lucky. Yeah, for sure, dude. That Jerk band was way badass. Yeah. <clears throat> And where all did you guys play? I know I missed that. You said right. Uh, Lar- <laughs> Casper Laramie, Colorado Springs, Bozeman, and Sheridan. And then those guys went to Rapid. But we're lame, so we pulled off that show. So oh, We'll go hit it. That's fun, though. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a fun. Yeah, it sounds great. Be- before I forget, uh, shout out to Little G. Fucking, uh, he's in the hospital right now. Hopefully you get better, dude. Yeah, dude. You will. You'll pull through. Gentry Minchat. His nephew. Oh, yeah. No, oh, wow. yeah. That's Got that RSVP or whatever it is. RSV. RSV. Yeah. Yeah. Does he have COVID? Yeah. 
in no. conjunction with it, but he just oh, says RSV. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. really susceptible, right? Yeah, that that would be a bad That'd combo. Yeah, bad yeah. Those are the people that are like and he's, vulnerable. Like, he's not even one, yeah. so that's yeah. Worst part. So definitely got to stay away from. So yeah, the COVID. fucking stay strong. Yeah, for that. he'll pull through, little G. Yeah, man. How old is little G? Sure. Not even a year, man. Little G, we got you, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Good vibes your way. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. <laughs> Hopefully he's doing good. Do we have uh, some people watching? So we should probably we tell them about how to get tickets. Real uh, quick. We, tag. We, we got to keep mentioning this. So yeah, that's true. If y'all are interested in attending the Y.O. City Summer Jam 2021, tag who you want to bring. Just in the comments, yeah, right? Yeah, just in the comments. Yep. In the comments section right here, tag who you want to bring. You'll yep. be entered into a drawing that we'll do at the end of the show. So anybody listening, let's do that. Yeah. It's a good point. We'll keep doing that throughout the show. Yeah. But and we're not here fucking around either. Yeah. There's actually people writing the shit down. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's cool. We got yeah. it. <laughs> well, I'm here fucking around. Yeah. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's on Twitter. He's playing like Angry Birds and the, shit over there. Hey, your farm's not getting any dude. bigger. Bro. Yes, the fuck it is, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm, to- I'm so bringing dude. John Wayne. Yeah. I'm bringing oh, John Wayne. We love John Wayne. You need to read one of those out of there, too. Right. <laughs> is that John Wayne's dad? It <laughs> is! <laughs> dad jokes, Bro, what? Yeah, John? There's some fucking gold ones in Dad here. jokes. <laughs> All just like one-liners from movies yeah. and jokes that he's told yeah, throughout his career? Shit. I don't know about throughout his career. But is it all him? For real? I don't think they're all him. They're just like... Oh, okay. So there's a, he's like... The, they use his name, and he's the, probably the major contributor, but they're a bunch of people from, like, his era, probably. Yeah, I, yeah. I have no idea. No clue. I just seen it at Walmart that one day, and I was like, fucking... That's you got Jay that Cole. at Walmart, dude? <laughs> yeah. A John Wayne dad yeah. joke book? <laughs> yeah. Just looking for paint that's one day. That's a fine. Fucking... <laughs> nice, dude. No, that's Whoa. dope. I gotta find a good one. There's some... Yeah. No pressure. We'll come back. We'll 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 come back to you, dude. We'll get to that. We'll get back to that. I don't want to zone out on that. So we got some good shit, though. So tag a friend. Tag a friend. Tag a friend. Tag a friend. Get your name in the hat. Put your name. Do we got? Do we got some people already? We do have a few. All right, sweet. We do got people. Awesome. Hell yeah. Keep them coming, folks. So what do we want to talk about next? You want to talk about your stuff? Yeah, man. I want to do a shot. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, hey, man. You know what else is cool oh, yeah. about this? This is just live. We're it live. Is live man. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure this is raw and uncut. It is. Oh, Jeremy, that was the other thing. Season two, episode two. Is that what we're on right now? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, dope, dude. Yeah. The dose, dose. Yeah, yeah that's the deuce, deuce. Super cool. You guys do this. It's just, it's cool to have any kind of creative endeavor, man. So like, yeah. it's. It's awesome, man. I'm glad you guys do, yeah. do fun stuff like this. Thanks, man. It, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool to it's, see. I think it's cool that fucking people let us mm-hmm. promote their stuff, you know, because, you know, it's a lot of hard work. We know that all the people that put all their blood, sweat, and tears into yeah. making people happy throughout the community, that's not easy shit. Yeah. So it's really it. easy to promote their stuff on our end. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. It's like, hey, man, just let us be like, hey, come check it out. So... It's, it's not a damn thing to us. Yeah, but it's cool though. you guys do this too because like it's just one of those things like oh, when yeah. we're, we'll talk about that. We're having a memorial ride for Ben uh, tomorrow actually for Ben Bournes. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but yeah. It just sometimes it gets to the point where uh, you just have to think about things like, well, nobody's doing this, so if I don't do it, yeah, nobody's right. gonna fucking do it. That's so it's right. cool that you guys like yeah. get on the horse, do it, do your thing and like, because it does take effort. It takes courage to do anything. A podcast, yeah. anything like that. Any kind of like journey you take or effort. So like, I think that's fucking cool, man. Because there's so Thanks, many people man. that just yeah. do nothing. Yeah. Especially, you know. Well, don't just say in Casper or anything like that. Because yeah. that's kind of cliche. But any, you, you know, cool. there's always that thing. People like, there ain't ever anything going on in Casper. Or this and that. It's like bullshit, dude. There's yeah. always yeah. something going on. There has been for over a year. Even through COVID, man. So... I mean, that's mm-hmm. another reason why we like to do this. You know, there's shit to do in this town, always, all the time. Well, yeah. Almost every weekend there's something going on that's great. Like, yeah. kind of got to dig a little bit. But you don't got to dig too hard if you just tune in to us because we shout out 90. Yeah. You guys, too, too. I watched, like, the like we majority. Get on, like, we'll get on the events page, you know. Like, that's what we do before the show on Facebook. You know, what's going on locally this week, we'll write it down real quick. So... 
that speaking, helps. Speaking, that's helpful. speaking of shout outs, we forgot somebody. Uh oh. We forgot the band Repent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Adam's here. Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy. 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 Make it a guest <laughs> appearance. Yeah. <laughs> I just said Adam. I meant Jeremy. My my apologies. Whatever. Same thing. Adam Jeremy. Literally the same last name. But yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, no, that is cool, man. You guys, like I said, anything like that, any creative endeavor, man. I admire that shit. And I think it's cool you guys are doing it because, like I said, if you don't do it, who will? Yeah. Sometimes you yeah. just gotta get off your ass and do it yourself, yeah. which is what you guys did, and it's fucking cool. And Thanks, appreciate man. it. Season two, episode two. That's you guys right. have been That's going right. for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Respect. Same goes for you guys. Respect. Yeah. Respect. Same goes for you guys too, yeah. because you guys do stick your neck out and like again, you guys try and make the community happy and make shit fun for people. You know, like yeah, have important. a good time. You guys yeah. have a good time and spreading all the love. So that shit's amazing too. Yeah. It's like four of the hardest working dudes I've seen. Like, uh oh. Honestly. Three. <laughs> honestly. No, we, we got Jeremy. Not me. Too. We got Jeremy yeah. too. Yeah. Not I'm me. Yeah. 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 I just I just show up and put dude. on sunglasses like, like, everywhere I go. Dude, it turns out. The shit that you've been doing, like all Thanks, that shit, man. dude. That shit can't be easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's stressful, but like anything, it's like labor love, just like art or anything. It gets frustrating. Yeah. Music. Did you say you love it? It gets flavor fr- of love. <laughs> <laughs> labor. Oh, I wish I, I said say, flavor. Yeah, of love. boy. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Shout out, flavor flavor. Yeah. Is he still oh, alive? Still, I think so. <laughs> I forgot. I'm still. We should run a bet on that. Call yeah, good shit. But uh, yeah. God. When or when? <laughs> does he? <He's> <laughs> Which comes first, does he die or catch a charge? Bro, he's probably caught several charges. Oh, he's yeah. caught like James Brown level charges. <laughs> I think there's a video where like he dropped crack one time on stage and like. Dude, no, that was well. Maybe Bobby maybe he Brown, did too, dude. but I saw a video of Bobby Brown. Yeah, yeah. Bobby Brown yeah. just the yeah. other day. No, I think yeah, that Flavor Flav did it too. Did he? But, yeah. yeah, right. It was kind of the same thing. The odds are he it definitely did. Too, I think Flavor Flav identifies as Taylor Swift these days. No, maybe. what? I really haven't seen anything about Flavor Flav in quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, it was he just lost, a hype band. Taylor the... Swift, so, right? So we're True. saying he, yeah. he had as much flavor as fruit striped gum, like for about fifteen fucking the seconds. Zebra kind. And the flavor's gone, and then you forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> it is unfortunate though, yeah, because he was a hype hype man for like one of the best hip hop acts ever. Like yeah. Public Enemy was. Favorite? <laughs> Public Enemy was so sick and such an important group. And then Flavor Flav, like toward the end, kind of. I mean, people that know hip hop still respect, you know, like Chuck D and Public Enemy and stuff, but he was kind of just like a hype man for them. Yeah, he did do shit. And then he did all those, like, reality shows after, so he's, like, yeah. affiliated with Public Enemy still, but. Which right. is a super serious co- good band, yeah. but he kind of. He, yeah, he kind of yeah. cracked it out. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think, like, hip hop heads and, like, people that respect music still, like, know that, like, Public Enemy and, like, Chuck D are very serious and, like, legit. You know what I mean? <laughs> may not, in retrospect, put letting Flavor Flav in the band may not have been a good idea. Probably. Well, you know what it's like. <laughs> well. <laughs> Kind of I love it's kind of like the outcast, well, kind of a little yeah. bit. It's you know? kind of like when you give fucking Link Vin- or fucking Fred Durst a microphone. That's what happened. Mm. Like, yeah, he would have been flaming flame. Yeah, but like somebody's like, all right, give the guy a chance. Yeah, and that's what happened. Yeah. He is Flavor Flame. He's but, Flavor Save now. <laughs> that should be a celebrity fight, dude. Fucking Fred Durst versus Flavor Flame. That would oh, be, man. A, that'd be a good one. Wow. Yeah, I'd put my money on Fred Durst. I don't yeah. know, dude. I would. I, I feel like Flavor After Flav. watching, okay, after watching the documentary the other day, like, you watched the Limp Bizkit was, documentary? Just, it was on Fred Durst or uh, whatever. I tried looking for one, but I couldn't fucking find one. But why? Anyway, hey, no, I'm just kidding. Fucking, <laughs> all that dude did was just, like, fucking scrap, like, his whole entire life. Really? And fucking, it was a really cool story, but that's why I said I'd fucking put my money on him. No, he, he, hopefully he could be up there. Yeah, the play's pretty tiny, but that's funny. Yeah, he, uh, like I said, yeah, it just kind of is unfortunate. He's... Because Public Enemy was a pretty serious, cool band. Flavor Flav is kind of like a fucking skeleton. He He is, you know, he's fragile. Dude, during the during the Flavor Flav roast, I forget. I think it was like Pete Davidson that said it, but he caught a lot of heat from the joke. But it was like 
because he was wearing a crown during the flavor fight. I, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. What did and he say? I guess. <laughs> he's pretty dark. You know what I mean. But anyway, this comedian said that he looked like King Lear if King Lear got caught in a forest fire. <laughs> like, one of the fucking funniest things I've ever heard. He's just so tiny, bro, and like just like cracked out, just sitting there on stage, dude. Remember having a bad Richard time. Pryor when he fucking busted out that joke after he caught himself on fire. Yes, he yeah, got he on stage and it. like lit the match and was like, "What's this?" It's like this Richard Pryor high on crack running from the cops on fire down the street. He's <laughs> 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 like he fucking lit himself on fire and smoking crack. Yeah, like, running from the cops and shit. He had a rough, rough go there. Like, well, toward the end, then he cleaned up. That guy had a crazy life. Dude, like, you read about that guy's so life. Yeah. Super funny, well. though. Super funny. That guy was literally raised in a brothel. Like. That's really cool. Yeah, like had his story is like he's seen a lot of insane. Boobs. Yeah, cool. seen a lot of boobs. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. wild. Yeah, he's seen a lot of everything, bro. Like yeah. 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 probably balls too. Yeah, no, like and horrific shit. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you live in a if you're raised in that environment, yeah, that'd be rough. But he he did yeah turn him well obviously molded him into a comedy genius, dude. Like yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. Whatever the recipe was, it worked. Yeah. Dude, your environment makes you, man. For sure. Yeah, oh yeah. For sure. Uh, oh. Another quick sh- couple shout-outs real quick before yeah. I forget, oh. and then I'm done with the shout-outs. Okay. Uh, Shout-out okay. to the Off the Cuff podcast, Jed and Cody, um, the Fumble Penis podcast, and the Cast of Sentences podcast. That's a dope podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he reviewed our shit and said that uh, it's like we we're in a crack house. Nice. And he digs it because it's grungy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jokes on him. It's a crack garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Funny. yeah. Nice try, dude. It's a double car crack garage. Yeah, motherfucker. I bet you feel pretty silly now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. You never fucking thought of it. I got that you. Man. I got yeah. you. Yeah. I'll snap back at a motherfucker. Wait. We're not even on <laughs> Earth right now. No, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> we're coming to you live from space. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, space, we're we? The tip of Elon Musk think about rocket it. dick. <laughs> yeah, that, was Jeff, that was Jeff Bezos. Oh, wait, yeah. We had the dick shaped one. I didn't... Right. S- it was Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Elon Musk does the rockets. Or the satellites. I think they I both... Think no, they both do rockets. <laughs> they both do rockets. Oh, I'm thinking of the other dude, Richard Branson. The airplane one. That one was way cooler, by the way. I missed all. I mean, I, I was vaguely aware of it, but I didn't catch it. Although the Jeff Bezos' <laughs> dick going into space is pretty fucking. That cool. was pretty epic, right? <laughs> like, Richard Branson had this cool little, like, badass Star Wars fucking glider the thing. Fire thing. Dropped That's from dope. a fucking jet, like, at 100,000 feet above sea level. And then they, like, launch into space from there, which is pretty dope. Super mm-hmm. dope. But Bezos is like, we should just stick with the dick thing. <laughs> like, we should totally just do the dick thing. <laughs> it's worked for like, a million years, like, dude. Don't change The guy, it. like, way back in the beginning of this, like, that said we should just do a dick thing all the way into space, like, we're going to do that. Like, so shout out to him. Yeah. We're going to keep yeah. it real, Bezos. I got to Shout guess. out to him for not realizing, like, the... The Doctor Evil analogy too, like the internet just <laughs> yeah. fucking destroyed yeah, him. No How are you gonna be bald, have a lazy eye, and have a dick shaped rocket just like Doctor Evil, and not <laughs> be aware of that yeah. shit? He has it like yeah. one person close to him that respects him, like, hey man, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everyone is gonna compare to you yeah. to Doctor Evil after yeah. this, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah. he, has to, he has to have like one good enough homie to be like, mm, yeah. maybe we should shape it like something yeah. like just a little different. Anyway, what? Uh, more you... money, more problems. My right. boss is awesome. <laughs> My boss is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I bring to you preparation H. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my son. He's probably watching too, but he's a huge. Uh, He's a huge Austin Powers fan. Bro. He always wants to rewatch and rewatch this movie, and they're funny, dude. I, oh, I yeah, like doing it sometimes. Yeah. Too. That's when Michael Myers is funny. Yeah, uh, I got a question. I uh, well, this was actually Lee's idea, which was pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty okay. cool. What type of? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's oh, it. Oh, it's just what are you after cool. here? But... It's fine. No, pretty cool is fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's amazing. Fuck. Which was, which is kind uh, of a good idea. 
Uh, what, uh, so one of the questions, what type of alcohol did you drink as a kid that made you sick Food as fuck? <laughs> you want me yeah, to start? Yeah, Dude, start in eighth, eighth, eighth grade, I got alcohol poisoning and went over to my friend's house and drank a liquor cabinet. And Bacardi 151. Ooh, hot damn. I still can't drink hot that. Hot damn, CLC, fucking tequila, beer, like... But the thing it tasted most the next day was a fucking... Oh, a Malibu rum. And then the mo- thing it tasted most the next you day... You drank all those things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jeez. and I weighed like... <laughs> dude, I weighed like... I thought this was like a bad dream. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I weighed like... We drank Malibu bucks. rum and 151. Dude, I weighed like fucking 80 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> I weighed 80 <laughs> fucking pounds. I weighed 80 pounds. That's like a so tattoo much. sleeve, dude. Yeah, was, yeah I should. Like, <laughs> no, that's should brutal. Not. No, that is brutal. But yeah, so... Ended up in the hospital after. Oh, I bet. no. Uh, I bet. But yeah, the next day, fucking, the thing I tasted most is hot damn, dude. So I couldn't. Always hot damn. Hot I couldn't damn. have fucking a cinnamon life or anything. And it was hot damn. Hot cinnamon damn. life cereal. Really? Or like, That's a throwback, gum, too, dude. Nothing <laughs> fucking cinnamon for like several years after, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> So fucking gnarly. Didn't we do like a cinnamon toast? Yeah, well, it's good now. I'm good now. I beat that shit. And how old are you then? I was, let's see, I was in eighth grade, so I was fucking 12. (laughs) Wait. 13. Wait. I was, yeah, I was 12 because I graduated. Because yeah, I graduated I at 13. 13. I was 13. So. I graduated, I graduated at 17. <laughs> I was 13. I was 13 years old, yeah. They still had cinnamon yeah. life. Yeah, dude. What was yours, Lee? What was your first? Oh, my God. I'm trying to... Sorry, the, the live video came on. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lee, very weird. He's making sure his hair's okay. Yeah. I literally <laughs> was, kidding. dude. That's how hot <laughs> up. Accurate, and it's not. It looks terrible, but I'm okay with it. Um... <laughs> I know I'm pretty good. <laughs> no, it's funny. Dude, two times, wild turkey. Like, <coughs> I let it happen once, and then, then I allowed it again, and it got me both times. One time, like, I was in, like, got in a little trouble when I was a kid, and I was in this, like, boys' school, uh, and uh, somehow somebody smuggled in a fifth of wild turkey. Um... <laughs> Bad. So bad. But nobody <laughs> even, like, we were, like, 15. Like, yeah, we were, like, 15, bro, and we hadn't like, drank that much anyway. Yeah, and, like, and, that'll be all right. Ugh, no, but anyway, the worst part of it, though, is, like, what made it even worse is, like, so we drank it, and it was disgusting, and we got fucking sick and drunk. But then we got caught, and, like, it was one of those places, like, if you get caught doing something, they just, like, make you run. Oh, Like, literally, yeah, like, yeah. fucking miles. Yeah. So, yeah, I was, like, 15, I drank, like, probably... Whatever unnecessary amount that was made me sick, and then I had to like get up, and we had to like collectively run as a group after oh. drinking that, dude. <laughs> it was the worst, worst, was worst you, drunk man. time ever. Dude. Dude, like, zero turkey. out of ten. Don't recommend. A shit turkey. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was it was terrible. So wild turkey, dude, for sure. Like regular wild turkey, just I would still to this day. I'm, nope, no, not gonna happen. Does Please. Robitussin count as yeah. alcohol? Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Robo trip. You had the robo trip going. Yeah, let's hear it. How old were you then? Probably 17. Oh, oh 17? Yeah. So a couple days ago. Like two, two <laughs> days ago. You, when we were kids, when we were kids, though, you could drink Robitussin yeah. and like get high for t- like really high for like 30 minutes or something. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about some that. of the craziest stories was Robitussin <laughs> stories. Yeah. Yeah. For real, yeah. Did they change the recipe, or did I the kids so. still do that? They I had to have so. changed. I think so. Yeah. It was a big thing they changed, right? That was in there. Yeah, there was a Fedrin in there for a long time, so they changed that. So what? Ha- what happened? You drank the Robitussin. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Which <laughs> one? <laughs> So, yeah. we, would, we would go on <laughs> missions. So, the funniest shit was, like... Missions? Dudes, we, so, we would show up at parties and, like, you know, like... We would be at a punk show and people would just be handing out bottles of Robitussin. That's how it happened. And then, like, we would... Uh, the missions would be, like, going to Safeway and we would find... So, it would be winter. 
It's always winter. <laughs> of course. You <laughs> can't yeah. drink Robitussin in the summer. He's not a psycho. <laughs> and so we would find cardboard. The mission was cardboard, and we want like once you found cardboard, like it was, it was the best thing ever. And what? then we would like go sled ride, like down oh, stupid okay. hills and shit. The funniest story was I'm not gonna name names, but dudes on Robitussin, like. Dude, his friend walks in, roommate. Is this and, Dustin uh, Brandon? No, no it's I'm not just, Dustin. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dust, shout out to Dustin. I'm totally joking, bro. He's a man. <laughs> Dustin's way more responsible than all of us. And, that's and like, joke, so. so dude hears his friend like in this in his room. He's like, dude, what are you doing? And like the bed's all like cocked to one side, and dude's underneath the bed. And what happened was the light like fell from the from the the back dresser like on the floor oh shit and he's like dude are you okay <laughs> like you just see him out here he's like the sun it's so hot <laughs> oh. oh my god that dude rope does some story. mess kids up dude yeah. oh dude yeah. yeah, that's awesome and drama mean and I, dude scene. a guy went to high school and fucking went to rehab fucking took a bunch of drama mean his in dad, rehab well, no, his dad... Oh, that's what got him into his rehab. His dad, yeah, his dad fucking knocked on his door at three in the morning because he was listening to the doors. And, like... <laughs> of course, I love that. Really fucking loud. You're listening to the doors, dude. There's something going on in there. Yeah, well, really fucking loud. He was spraying his floor with Lysol, killing fucking bugs. And, like, his dad's like, what are you doing, man? Like, he started, like, picking all these bugs off his dad. Like, oh, my God, dude. Like... You need to take a shower like those. Oh, I was like, you got bugs all over you, man. <laughs> yeah, you ended up going to rehab over that shit. Dude. He took like a whole fistful of drum and he was fucking days. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we're on you. Where's your turn? Yep, to Stevie. Uh, oh, Old English oh, Reserves. Oh, wow. That's a weird <laughs> Oh. Like the sack, the 40s? Oh. Well, no. Uh, at one time, I don't know if they still make them or not, but it's like like a taller bottle and it was old English and it had like a cat on it and it was like a red like kind of like a light version of Robitussin <laughs> to be honest Robo light yeah dude the other one that's messed up is Mad Dog Ooh, Mad Dog 50-50 yeah. or whatever like that will mess you up the sulfur 20, 20. in it. Yeah. Mad Dog 2020. Yeah. yeah. That will mess, like, the sulfur. Is that what it is? I, I, I don't know. So. Yeah, I never really drink it, man. It is. I don't plan it's on It's terrible. It. Like, I'm old enough now. We should bring. We should no, drink. No, we shouldn't. I just <laughs> said. I, 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 God damn it. You don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> what about no. hurricanes? <laughs> <laughs> we could drink some hurricanes. Hurricanes. Yeah, you want to do some hurricanes? Slurricanes. Ooh, no. We should, uh... I tell you what. Did anybody comment uh, on Mickey's alcohol dude. I don't uh, know. Did anybody comment? Yeah, what was your worst alcohol moment? Yeah, yeah what? Ooh, those loco drinks Dust May said. Ooh, four locos. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll make sense. <laughs> yeah. That'll be, yeah. Yeah. Dude... <laughs> When I was in Montana, like, this bum fucking convinced me to drink a steel reserve. Ooh. Ugh. It is hot, dude. It's like 104 degrees. Like, it's cold. What it was it? What's the worst domestic beer? A dude still reserve has to be. Do you think yeah. so? That's it's like pretty headache. close. Fucking. It's like filtered through a gym sock. It's yeah. fucking horrible. Dude. And my stepdad, <laughs> he worked at Albertsons. This was in fucking Gillette. And uh, so we got a discount, and fucking the Steel Reserve fucking 40s were like 90 some cents. Well, anyway, he's like, hey, if you want some beer, fucking there's some in the fridge, right? I remember when I opened the fridge. Do you remember that Dr. Dre video, Nothing But a G thing, when he yeah. opens it? Dude, I'm like, whoa, cool. Yeah, I had like one of them, and then I'm like, Ugh. that's fucking yeah. <laughs> Dude, so, uh, Let's see. Summer said strawberry schnapps, and Ooh. Josh said cobra. Cobra. So, <laughs> Josh. Josh. Fredrickson. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cobra. He just said yeah. Cobra. Yeah. Cobra. Yeah. Cobra. <laughs> Cobra. <laughs> Cobra. Awesome. You know Cobra. <laughs> Let me talk to you about Cobra. Oh, That's yeah, the, the 40s, right? The malt liquor? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I've never had one, dude. Oh, yeah. Are Shout out to now? our... Huh? Shout out to our uh, safety guy, Josh. He can't be here right now. Choo choo, Josh. Safety first. Yep. <laughs> Did you say safety? Yeah, he's our safety guy. I like think it's time to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that so people don't do flips over here and break your scene? Uh, well. Ooh, wait. Where's John? We saw Josh. Yeah. yeah. Josh. Yeah. Josh. Yeah. yeah. Our here. friend John at this part we all that one time. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. Still yeah. favorite yeah. show. Yeah. Favorite show. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, fuck it. We just gotta move shit. Yeah, shout out to John. <laughs> yeah. John. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, fuck some karaoke up at Chatters last week. It was pretty fun. Oh, you went? I oh, did, yeah. man. It was dope. Make sure to tip your bartenders. <laughs> I killed Achy Breaky Heart. Yeah. I did. Good. So who went to Orville Peck? I did Anybody not. here? No? I wanted to. I, we just I wanted to, too. So nobody went. Two, two. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're right. It's season two, episode two. Man. Two, yeah. two. <laughs> yeah. two, two. <laughs> the deuce, deuce. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I would have went. What I should have went. What are you doing, Lee? Are you getting, like, being a chemist? Dude, Dude our, our superhero yeah, is over there... I know, you know it'd be really it's funny if we had like a camera <laughs> where we could like click it over there too. So, let's <laughs> check in on Lee. <laughs> what is Super that? Hero that would be so funny. What is yeah. Lee doing? The Lee cam. Yeah. Like on Lee. Oh, so, so yeah. are you wearing that Rowdy Rowdy Piper thing because yeah, Lee's here? No. Nope. Nope. I'm rocking it because, well, I wore it at the Comic Con. Hey, Bumblebee oh. tuna. Yeah. Your balls are showing. Are they? Do your balls? No, I just fucking dig the fuck Bumble. out of Rowdy it's Rowdy so tuna. It's so good. I was like, dude, that's awesome. You know, like wrestling what lee does i was like he's got to be wearing it for for lee but oh no no, uh-uh. no he's no. just sweet yeah. he's just into the kilt game cool. this is the only no. this is the second yeah, it's time it's kind of weird but <laughs> it's 2021 20, though but I mean, yeah you know and it's you know it's kind of, the only thing that sucks there's no pockets i hate that shit Oh. No pockets, you know what oh. I mean? You got your phone, you got your phone. So, he's going to go from spray painting to fucking tailoring. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to trap him. I'm going to sell these custom coats with pockets. Yeah. <laughs> these three wheel bicycle ones that has these pouches in the front, too. <laughs> Put your keys in it. You know, you guys keep saying that. Like, you haven't even made your three wheel bicycle gaming diapers, so... Oh, not yet. Well, yeah, we should probably get on. We're that. looking we're for some something. That's diapers. a bad idea, man. I thought you guys yeah. gave up on that, man. We're looking oh. for something super absorbent. <laughs> Dude, so it was really funny. Earlier tonight, I was like, you should be rowdy, rowdy diaper. Instead of talking. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Yeah! <laughs> With the diapers. Yes, so I was like, rowdy, rowdy. that'd be so good. Oh, dude, this is why some great. people write music and just others of us can't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you either you have it or you don't. You know? like, like, yeah. Great. <laughs> I'm going to write that song. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> it, it, it writes yeah. itself, bro. Oh, he's shitting his pants. <laughs> Didn't he? Uh, whoa. Rowdy, rowdy, I love diapers. It. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't. Uh, the kilts, didn't they have like a like a fanny pack affiliated with them? Or am yeah, I yeah, well, yeah, some dude, kind of that like fucking gunpowder fucking yeah. pouch. You should just do a fa- fanny pack, though. Mm. Yeah. Like traditional I think fanny that's pack. what the fanny pack Yeah. That's why. Because, right? Didn't people with kilts rock fanny packs? I don't know. I, I think, think so. I think so. Yeah. Well, it's very convenient. I mean, put everything right in there. Yeah, I saw a meme Your about I saw a meme about cargo pants one time that everybody's probably seen, <laughs> but it was so funny because it was just like 
you know, like cargo can- cargo pants speaking, <laughs> and, it, and it's like cargo pants. Don't worry, I'll hold your stuff. You just worry about making friends. <laughs> right. It's pretty yeah, funny. Shit. <laughs> oh <my God>. yeah. <laughs> we got you, bro. Yeah, dude, we got your stuff, dude. Just make friends, dude, in your cargo pants. Don't worry about it. Like, yeah, we got you, buddy. You just do your thing. Your Leatherman's in here. Yeah, your phone, your charger. Everything's yeah, there, dude. Whatever yeah, weird shit that people wear cargo pants. There's some chapstick all in, there. in that motherfucker because it's dry as Your water. tampon. Chapstick. Oh, shit. No. Yeah. <laughs> chapstick. People rock fanny packs steady, though, sometimes. Dude, I know. I know. I know. Seriously, thank you. That was me. Mm. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was actually thoughtful because you never know when you're going to have a bloody nose or <laughs> somebody yeah. might need one. Yeah. Like, oh, I got True. you, boo. You yeah. should have to be a dad yeah. to wear a fanny oh, pack, Oh, dude. Oh, snuck up on you? I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Just so happens, right here in the left cargo pocket. Shark week, you get bit by a shark, dude. I got gotcha. you, yeah. <laughs> dude. The, the weird uh, fanny I mean. packs, too. Like, for some reason, okay. like the, the like the hardcore power lifter guys, uh, it's like culture that you see them in the gym and they wear fanny packs, too, oh, which I yeah. never quite yeah. understood. Well, and no disrespect, I just never where they put the chalk, yeah. It's full of chalk. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a chalk. Oh, all right. Well, look, 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 <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's the fucking chalk, yeah. bud. Yeah, you know. yeah. You're right, it's right. just chalk and steroids in there. They're just like, oh, dude, we're ready to live. Zero dude. time in the gym, do that. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. Fucking, what do you fucking mean? I don't. I don't. I don't it doesn't stand out, does it? I don't. Yeah, the nerd said it was chalk. Yeah, the, the legit guy was makes, like, what the fuck? Do they yeah, it makes that? sense. It makes sense. <laughs> I haven't re- I haven't reached that level of fucking Pokemon in the gym or whatever. But that's cool though. I don't. I'm not hating on it. Hey, it's not there. Dude, we're just prepping for the gym, dude. We're gonna have chalk fanny packs. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You can we'll, never have enough chalk. We'll meet you there. If you need any chalk, we got you. Super clutch. I mean, uh, super clutch. Clutch. There's like at home, like scraping it on the concrete, and they're just like. Putting it in their fanny pack. And just like, <laughs> boom! Yeah. Out there bashing rocks with the hammer. Like, yeah, dude. We're all going to get our ass kicked by a power lifter yeah. next time we go out to the bar. And yeah. like, I saw this. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are fucked up, man. How fucking dare you, dude? Yeah, I said it. Make fun of people who wear fanny packs. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I legit yeah. didn't know. But it is a weird cultural yeah. phenomenon, like certain people do. Well, that. even like with like wrestlers, too, if you notice, like they're always fucking. You know what they I had watched, sa- I they, they wear fanny packs, too? Yeah. Well, oh, they well they work out on probably like the, they, yeah, they work yeah. out a little bit too. Yeah. 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 They might be on some yeah. supplements. Yeah. I, it's got to be their gym the membership then that's yeah. in there. Ooh, and probably their fishing license. <laughs> their fishing license. Yeah. Fishing <laughs> license, dude. That did <laughs> not. Totally they, they go hand It's just there, beef dude. jerky, chalk, and a fucking fishing license, <laughs> yeah. dude. That's what's and in there. Beef jerky. What else would be in there? Jesus. The beauty is in the and simplicity, dude. Yeah. Tanning Sunglasses. Whoa, whoa. You got through in the tanning lotion, too. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have some The chalk will dry you all out. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You don't have tanning lotion. Yeah, so Just hopefully we still got people go tagging. Are, are there, there people part? watching? <laughs> Sorry. We're just ca- we Sorry, guys. We appreciate the Wait, fact that you are watching. There is a lot of This is what happens, because this is what happens, guys. Jake and Stevie are in charge here, <laughs> okay. and me and Travis have no discipline, so it's like... So, <laughs> and we cool. just go along with it. I know. We're, we're having fun. Yeah. I know. We're entertaining beasts so. ourselves. Yeah. So. Yeah. Dude, just, it's it's welcome thing. to Three Wheel Bicycle. Dude, oh, I'm into should it. we we're talk about a, this giveaway thing, thing again? Really? No, yeah. no, we shouldn't. Like, or you gotta tag them. Well, gotta tag them. yeah, we're gonna talk about the giveaway. We don't get to talk Let's about talk about the music festival. You, like, yes. What am I talking do the giveaway real quick. We can do Ooh, that. Oh, yeah, let's do a giveaway. Let's give away a bunch of tickets. Yeah, we give away unlimited tickets. I don't give a fuck. Let's well, give away a bunch. Yeah. Hurry up, punch it in. Who you bringing? Yeah. Who you yeah. bringing? Who you yeah. want to fucking bring to the yeah. show? Tyler, we're going to dial school. up somebody. In the next five minutes, we'll pick one name. And then at the end Here of the comes. show, we'll pick so another one. So all they have to... I'm still not clear. Because I'm an idiot. We're telling these people right now. Yes, I... All right, I understand that, Copernicus. 
Okay. okay, so they just tag someone right now, comment yep. Yep. someone's name. Yep. Yep. And they'll get two tickets. And we'll two pick it in two minutes or a minute or 30 or seconds fucking, or whatever. Or like we're going to do that at hand or whatever. No, let's do a bunch. Let's do a bunch. Let's do a bunch. Then we can do a bunch. Okay, so we'll hey, let's do one right now. We have 10 people listening, so you guys better get on this shit. He yeah. wants to do a bunch. All, t- all 10. All yeah, 10. It, what's the name that she tagged? Is there one? I can't There's see it. List. You want the list? Oh. No, Do you, are you throwing? Oh, did you, oh, throw you got the list? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's got a list, yeah. Roger. I can't see shit. I just see people watching. I'm really blind, too. Yeah. I am, too. Oh, okay. You gotta wait for you to win the hat. Okay, grab us a minute. Hey, hey, I think it might be a good time just to, like, talk a little bit about right. Summer Jam and, like, yeah. what that entails. Maybe, yeah. maybe people want to know. Like, what, what does that entail? Oh, it's true. We'll tell them when they're ready. We're we know they're not ready yet. <laughs> Here's the story of a man named Jake. Oh, let's ask another one of those questions. Well, let's, need to yeah, let's the question first. Uh, what was your favorite toy as a kid? Wait, wait, wait. Let's do the drawing. My first favorite okay. Favorite okay. Toy. Or wait. Oh, I got it. As a kid. Yeah, think about that one. Yeah. But in the meantime, yeah, good good point, Stevie. Let's think about that. The question is that we thought about is what go ahead and see. What is it? What was your what was your favorite toy as a kid? Yeah. <laughs> favorite toy when you were a kid. What was your like number one favorite toy? Like if it was under the was Christmas tree. Shortcake? Were you super stoked? On, like whatever was under the tree you were just like super stoked about or like totally just true. wanted so bad. Jeju, yeah. Cabbage Patch. Ooh, me? Oh, here we go. Well, let's do the drawing first. Here we go. It could have been Mask. Star Wars. You want to pick forgot about Mask. What was Mask? Okay, fine. I'll take it. Okay. I'm just, I'm just. First winner. Okay. First winner. Okay. First winner the the prisoners have taken over. Yeah, the patients have taken over the asylum. What? You're going to fucking band do a drum roll. Come on. I don't know. I'm not a drummer. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay, I got gotcha. Oh, gotcha. What number? Six. Number six. Number six. Chris. Uh, I always screw up your name. Strat. <laughs> yeah. Strat. Dude, you got to learn how to you read know, before we do this uh, next time, man. Yeah, I know. Well, he's he's going to be on the show here after a while, too, with his band and stuff. Yeah. Uh, he's with Triangle and Peace, but uh, him and some other guys. Flashback. He plays in that yeah. band, too, I think. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and uh, A.O. Sweet. Lerma. So you guys, uh, you guys still, get a you date. You still didn't say Chris's You name. got the date. You uh-huh. got the date. Mm-hmm. Woo-hoo. Chris, you got the date. Chris you got the date. Stratch. Never say. I can never remember how to say. Chris Stratch. So A.O. Lerma and Chris Stratch one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I know yeah. A.O. That's Lenny's brother. A.O.'s a cool cat, man. Yeah. I like that kid. He's, he's a cool guy. You guys are the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So just, what's your address, Stevie? 1806 South Spruce. Ooh, 1806 South Spruce. Just show up here about 2 in the morning tonight. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready for you, man. You like, fell for it. I was like, wait, why are you doing that, man? Like, just, and if you don't, what's your cell phone in case you don't answer the door? Yeah. Yeah. I've been waiting for you. I'm anyway. <laughs> Jessica is not just very kidding. happy right don't now. Don't show up before 2. Like, nobody after 150. You really just said our actual Nobody's fucking listening anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Kim, the best thing I heard. Like anyway, no, hit up hit up these guys on three wheel and they'll get your tickets though. Yeah, yeah. Chris, we'll figure it out. Chris Stratch, because uh, yeah. Steve yeah. does not say his yep. name. Is that yeah. right? Yep. Yep, that's true. Chris Stratch. Okay, and then and, and I even painted a guitar for him. Nice. Uh, but I personally would love. We should to probably learn how to say his Larry name. Larry Nash is going to the. Fucking December Jam, he says. So oh, thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, dude, Larry's the man. I've been knowing Larry our whole life. He's a good dude. Good, yeah. good dude. Love Larry. I need a lighter. Uh, so Jake, what? Uh, what was the next question? You're what was your question favorite? Here. What was your favorite toy as a kid, Jake? My little pony. Dude, I got I got the big Leonardo man, like the big Ninja turtle that came with the swords. That was by far the best thing. The big plastic one. Oh my nice. god, I want it so bad. And then my grandma, like, came through in the clutch, man, on Christmas. I knew my parents were broke that year, too. I knew it. Dude, that's Fucking dope. Fucking grandma was like, bam. I was like, oh. It was so cool. I mean, I wish you still had 
Leonardo was tight. Who's yeah. the tightest Ninja Turtle? Michael. Leo. Michael. Yeah. Leo, Michael? Mikey, dude, he's a no, skater. Michael, Angelo, Leonardo. I thought they all skated a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but no? Mikey was a hella skater, though. Oh, he was. He was skate. <laughs> he, was, he was the only one that could do flip tricks. Everybody yeah, else could yeah. just, like, all. Yeah, like, they're like, cool. I can, <laughs> I, I can make it up. I can make it up. Everybody else rode vert, and they were yeah. all street skaters. <laughs> they were long boys. <laughs> <laughs> fucking street skaters. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Numb trucks suck. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking nolly flips yeah. rule. <laughs> oh, he had numb trucks. Yeah. Nun trucks. Nun trucks. <laughs> okay, that's stupid. Yeah, that was bad, bro. That was a bad one. Lee, Cut what are you doing? Just are, you, are we doing... Ah! Who's, 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 who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Michelangelo. Michelangelo, Michelangelo too. Yeah. Yep. What was your toy? Which one oh, Which yeah. one was Michelangelo? The guy with the sides? No, no that's he was Rappy. Nunchucks. He was the orange dude. Yeah. Nunchucks. And Rap had the swords. No. Leo was, had the swords. Or Leo had the swords. Yeah. Rap... Yeah, had the size. size, and Dante had like the staff, staff yeah. the bow staff, yeah. or hiking stick. Right, what was your, favorite, your toy? favorite toy? Oh, my favorite toy like was Castle Grayskull from. Oh Ooh, shit! Nice. Like, that was like number one. That or or like I also I got Snake Mountain too, which is Skeletor's castle. Did ever you guys? Anybody watch He Man? Probably not. I, I did, but I don't remember. They just shit. redid the He-Man, and oh, Kevin yeah. Smith that directed Clerks and Mallrats oh, yeah. and all that is responsible like no for shit. directing and writing the new series of He-Man that just came out like three days ago on Netflix. Like, oh, wow. Super I'll, fucking yeah, cool. I'll, I've been I'll, in three episodes, and I thought it was pretty cool. I don't want to church up too much, but I thought it was Well, I've been to it already. It was cool. The artwork's cool. It's all that. It's cool because it's that old, like, dark artwork with, like, nice, I don't know, like, yeah. shit. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to describe yeah, it. Check it but anyway, yeah, uh, Castle Grayskull was like the coolest. I literally, I was just, me and my son were talking about. It. I think I'm gonna get a tattoo of Castle Grayskull for sure. Be just be super too. metal, like on my shin. But anyway, that's probably my favorite one. And then Snake Mountain was kind of cool too because I was like way back in the day, and it had like a little microphone, and it was like the bad evil castle, mm. so you could talk in the microphone and like distorted mm. your voice and made it sound all. I would have ordered pizza like that. Oh, dark. Dark. <laughs> Double cheese, that's some Home Alone shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, yellow keys he's yeah. ten yeah. steps ahead of Colin McCulloch, and he's like, dude, I'm ordering yeah. Eagle Voice, Evil Voice, and then, dude, I'm doing yeah. the Mafia video, so they leave it, dude. Yeah, so you know, you know. He's Macaulay Culkin 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is a junkie part. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh, Mask later. is a close number two, but G.I. Joe. Cool. Yeah. We, have G. Joe. <laughs> we have an original G.I. Joe tape. My kids are just G.I. Joe. <laughs> G. Joe. Have you watched the fucking dub overs? No. The G.I. Joe dub overs fucking on I bet you they've got to be great. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, yeah. I'll get you on to that shit okay. after the show. <laughs> Stevie, <laughs> what's yours, dude? Your favorite toy? <clears throat> It's got to be a still wrestling downstairs. buddy. It's wrestling buddy. You got to check clothes. the comments too. Clothes. Clothes. Remember? Uh, Remember? When that fucking Hulk Hogan doll came out, it was a plastic one and it was string. You pull it. Oh, he said train, the, say your prayers, eat your vitamins. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I feel embarrassed that I, I don't still remember got that. It. I fucking, yeah, dude. We got to go see this. <laughs> yeah. You got to prove it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, go get it. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Gonna go get it. That show, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, you still have it? <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That is yeah. awesome. So, like, I can't see comments. I just see people are watching. Why is that? I, I don't know, man. Because I have restrictions. It yeah. could be. Restrictions. I don't know. You got us kicked off. Do we have another question? No, we gotta look at the we gotta listen to the crowd answers. Not okay, much. there's gotta yeah, be some yeah. gold in there, right? Yeah. So Sweet. what was your guys's? Uh, what, what was? Toys? But what was mask though? Mask? Yeah. Mask? I, I remember. What? like, let's do a little like poll. Do, do a little poll. Guess what, dude? Nine out of like ninety nine out of hundred listeners don't know what mask. They have is. no idea mask. So it was on. There was a show. There was a cartoon. And basically, there was, like, good guys, bad guys, just, like, all of what? them, right? And so Get it'd out. be, like, a car that would, like, open up wings, and they all had masks that would, like, pull down. And it was, oh. like, I don't even know what they really did. But mask was the shit, dude. So it's kind of like Transformers, cool. but different. Transformers, like, a cross between G.I. Joe and Transformers. What about, like, GoBots? No. Okay. Those, Remember GoBots, though? Scooter. 
Remember Scooter, <laughs> yeah, he was the red one, right? The red Gobot? Yeah. What yeah. those Nintendo gloves would have been kind of cool. Power glove. Yeah, power glove. Yeah. I was, was going to say my favorite toy was a, my skateboard. Yeah. Holy shit. But it wasn't... Yeah, you know, like, I earned my own. Like, my parents are like, I'm not buying that. And you're cool, I want one. Yeah. But before, like, you had toys before. Toys. Cause ska- like, skateboards only get... Like, to be, like, super cool, and you kind of, like, learn how to ollie and flow. Yeah. I mean, well, they're always cool, but, like, once you learn how to ollie and flow, it's not a toy, like, it's skateboarding a turns into, like, a whole, a like, opens everything else yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it was still cool, you know what I mean? Like, you're stoked to get one, you're like, this is dope. But, like, until you can, like, ollie and, like, for me, I guess, I'm only speaking yeah. for myself. But, like, once I learn how to ollie and, like, flow, I'm like, oh, I get it now. Like, it's a whole other <laughs> thing. And then, yeah. There it is. Yeah. There he is. Oh. Hey, welcome hey, aboard, look. bud. It's Hulk Hogan. Jessica, we need the crowd. We never got any crowd <laughs> answers to that question. Hulkster rule, oh, brother. Uh, uh, yeah, I give, I give an answer. <laughs> it sounded like he just said, come on, fucker, let's yeah. die. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, HGH. Yeah. No, yeah. Poor oh, Male pattern spice. balls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've seen that fucking... Uh, my new haircut? Is that what you're talking about? No. But no, I have seen that. Yes, That's it's funny. fucking hilarious. Has anybody commented? Was, was there any there? crowd comments? I didn't comment. Oh, yeah, crowd comments. Yeah. Oh, mine was TJ Sparkle. Still trying to find one, so if anybody has an OG TJ Sparkle with a box, I will literally pay anything to have one. Because I want to have one. Shoot us a message. I will literally pay you whatever. All right. So, we'll Sounds good. Okay. 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 Read more <laughs> shot. <laughs> You're on a mission, bro. Read more shots. Find toys. <laughs> That's my dude. <laughs> All of them. Yeah, find yeah. 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 out the show. Well, I like you. Mostly mine was just going out to the woods and making my own house out in the woods. I've had a toy. You're such nice. a I've never had toys. I'm not you, Jerry. Respect. She's like, I just murdered all my wow. family. <laughs> Big wheel? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 hell yeah. Mine, How are you? Mine was the blocking doll. How are you, dude? The Big Wheel is pretty dope, man. I, I fucking yeah. wore a hole in my Big Wheel. So listen, Summer Green says Susie Stretch Doll. Oh, nice. Is that mm. like fucking I don't know Stretch what that Armstrong? is. But yeah, like, it's like a female one. No, is that yeah. porn? Stop. <laughs> that sounds porn. It's that's a stretch doll. That's a thing. And then Josh said uh, he man action figures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He loves is that he porn? Man. Whoever, whoever, whoever <laughs> you guys, whoever's your assistant is, I'm doing their job right now. Yeah, right now just so you know. Comments. like. I'm not getting those comments. I swear. Like, I'm not. Right. Let's see. He man was Joshua's favorite, and then they Dude, banned Jessica. Him. Mom, she's like, yeah, I used to make my own cabins, and all these people are yes. like, all about they porn. Yeah, <laughs> that was you. You Joshua said that. Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's like cool. Did you guys watch porn in there, or like what happened in the cabin? <laughs> no, dude, it was a fucking cabin. They didn't even have TVs. You the boys have been whacking in my cabin. Yeah. Speaking of uh, porn. I was watching this. Actually yes. I was, no. I was uh, watching this movie last night. It wasn't a porn movie, but it was called okay. Jasper Mall. It was on fucking Amazon. Dude. Uh-oh. I'm pretty convinced the guy that was in the documentary was, was a documentary. It was, yes. Okay. It was the oh. Tiger King's well, this... brother or cousin. Oh, oh geez. Same kind that of That doesn't haircut. narrow it down. And he <laughs> fucking owned tigers. Oh, yeah. Dude, tigers, <laughs> Tiger King's dad fucked a lot, dude. He's got so many brothers and cousins. <laughs> well, they interviewed they interviewed this, like, the guy that was, like, uh, sweeping and everything. Well, what was the premise? You have to tell the people the premise of the documentary. It's just about the Jasper Mall, about this mall that's run down, or in, running uh, down. Jasper, it kind of reminds me Missouri. of our mall, unfortunately. So, like... Like modern day, just like the malls, like running yeah. out. Amazon, old Jeff Bezos is putting them out of business. Yeah, yeah. Is Jasper in Missouri? I'm not sure. I, I didn't think look that is. far into it. But yeah, it's just a know, documentary. He wasn't when they watching. Were, when they were fucking uh, interviewing the guy that was like the janitor or whatever, yeah. you could like tell he was homosexual. Nothing wrong with that. But Texas. like, uh, Texas. 
They inter- they're like, so what was, uh, was what's Florida like one of the me. weirdest Jasper, things Jasper. that you've ever encountered? And he's like, well, I had this guy come up to me one time and told me that my manager just sits in his office and watches porn. And he's like, okay. Well, then he came back and he's like, no, I was just joking. Do you want to come over to my house and watch porn? Is that like the new pickup line or what? No, like, the, like that dude said it was. You know what I mean? Like, that's hey, you want to come over and watch porn? Like, he, wasn't, he wasn't being like sarcastic. He was just being like straight aggressive yes. with it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was on the. He was asking who on the documentary. Oh, uh, like the little makers? janitor kid that's like uh, yeah. does all the maintenance. But who was asking the janitor? Some fucking just a guy that was shopping at the mall or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Totally crazy. Pick up line. Yeah. Well, totally. Maybe that's like the new age thing or something. I don't know. I'm not really in the. I league. just feel like the janitors don't get the respect they deserve. They're custodial yeah, yeah. artists, dude. Yeah. Janitors. Custodian yeah. dick. <laughs> That's nice thing to say. Half baked, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, should we finally talk about the Wyo City Tunnel yeah. Jam? Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, Anytime. Because it's like, it's been forever. I've personally been super, super busy and hasn't like, done enough research. I would like to know all the things about it. And oh, yeah. Can we talk nope. about it? No pressure. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait for it. We're you guys shine like you. your spotlight in my eyes yeah. first before I talk about it. Leaning on you. Perfect. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. No, no, I, pre- no, I, I was just kidding around. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, geez. So, I, let's talk about it. I'm really not ready to talk about it, actually. Okay, first annual Lyo City Summer uh, Well, no, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> what was that entail? I didn't know I was going to be interrogated. Oh, well, you have no excuse. She has go with the natural notes. flow of things. Yeah, it's okay. So, no, now let's okay. talk about something else for right. You guys got me okay. all thrown off, dude. I'm sorry. Right? Oh, I'm my God. Chilling, dude. Cheer, cheer. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy, yeah. uh, thanks for watching. Uh, oh, one thing I did post about, and I kind of fucked up today when I said about the merch thing. We, we did get some stuff. We're going to have shit down there at the um, the festival. Um, yeah. It's going to be like bags for like the kids and stuff. Um, oh, We got a bunch cool. of that stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I got some, when they come in, I got you guys. I was hoping to, that they came in today, but that was my fault. I should have looked before I posted. What, what does that tell you? Yeah. We'll talk more about what we're doing for the kids, if not all of it. Uh, we are, I think I pretty much summed it up. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna well then like elaborate there. Stuff. Elaborate, audience, yeah. on what okay, we're doing audience. for the kids. So, uh, because this is a kid-friendly thing, which is awesome, yeah, I'm gonna first, like, preface it with, you know, like, our entire foundation and pastor, like, for me personally, was watching live music, especially local music, and how important that is, like, to bring it to young kids fact that this entire thing that we've doing is kid friendly is so amazing yeah. because yeah. like we're we're older we all have kids like there's not a person we, like we we all have kids so the fact that it's kid friendly like we really <coughs> want to touch on that kids are my life like that's what i do for a living and so we want to do something special for them so we have bags for the kids um five dollars a piece they come to the three little bicycle booth the bags have art a book Our big thing mm. is like we want kids to come visit our booth. We want to make the kids that, friendly. And I love that, it. The fact Super that it's into kid it. friendly yeah. is so awesome. Like we we love that. We so, love any event where we can bring our kids to it and where they can have a good time because you know. What's that motto? Folks, again? that's big Thanks. news. I didn't even know about this. So that's really cool. Thanks, Jessica yeah. and Stevie for doing that. So anybody listen, share that for all the mm-hmm. kid audience and all that good stuff. Think, create, inspire. Think, create, inspire. Super cool. Sorry, I just yeah. wasn't ready to talk about like right on the fly, and I will in just a second. But yeah, and kids' tickets 
for the music festival we'll discuss here in just just a minute um are only 12 bucks the door so we'll we'll talk about that in, in just a second and that'll be cool but yeah anyway sorry i wasn't sure yeah we're gonna have all kinds of cool shit for the kids we're gonna have an adult <laughs> prize too like a big old basket uh yeah and some other fucking merch and stuff it's gonna be pretty fun yeah super cool i'm excited about it uh, right, let's talk about the shivers the shivers we're right. going to so like for kids we're definitely like right after we get done playing um anybody like you know I th- you got playing the kickball we're gonna we're gonna oh we'll talk about kick the kickball ball. <laughs> <laughs> Travis is fighting I'll take all your kids on Travis and kickball <laughs> We're gonna flick burgers on you, you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're seriously gonna like at, right after we get done, we'll be like over there. Hopefully, all the bands like follow suit and yeah. like signing autographs, whatever they want. Like that's awesome. Yeah, because yeah. we're all about the kids. In fact, if there's kids that can't see, we're probably gonna do something like extra special. So cool, man. For that night. What do you mean they can't see, like, if they're blind? Eh, You have to see when we get there. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be cool. Uh, Speaking of autographs, you and Lee. So this is, like, going to be a new thing. Anybody that comes in here has to sign this table. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all got to fucking be on it. I like it. I don't know if they're going to sign this table. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, <laughs> you're good. He's going pee. He'll be right back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit happens. <laughs> shit happens. What, uh, so, Is another question. Jump reference? What was your favorite pair of shoes Ooh. you always wanted? Reebok Punk said I got. Stevie. Again, my grandma back in the clutch, dude. <laughs> Bought me a fucking, like, they're 110 <laughs> fucking dollar Reebok pumps, dude. Yeah. Grandma and nice. me. Yeah. <laughs> the pumps. Yeah. They she were, bought them for you? Yeah. How much are those? 110 bucks, man. They're, God damn. They're, like, when I was, like, fucking nine years old, dude, they were 110 back then. They're black and blue. Has the orange basketball on them. Oh my god. Walked in the class that day and like. Did they get stolen? Oh, fuck no. But like, people would like show up, like, there's. We had a Pomida in my underwear and grow And they had like rip off shoes and they were Everlast, like, kind of like the boxing gloves. But they did a spin off of that shit, that, the pump shoes. And all the kids blew. Like, <laughs> they're <ever> last, but... <laughs> I'm gonna oh, smash yeah. you. I'm like, gonna smash oh, you. yeah, I got you, man. My feet are fucking inflated. <laughs> <laughs> it was so dope. But that was my favorite pair of shoes. Yeah, fuck yeah. What was yours? So, my favorite has to be if anybody you knows always me. Wanted. You always well, want it. Well, fuck, yeah. I'll do that too. So, I was in Colorado skateboard is my thing and uh we were at not a skateboard shop but we were looking around at like it was like a wholesale place and so my other nickname is ruck so i everyone's like how the hell do you get this name ruck and i'm like it's some fucking shoes i got in colorado so here's the thing skateboarding i saw these shoes there was like they had a uh they looked like sneakers Right, and they were rad as hell. They looked like Etnies, but they had like a, uh, a metal, like steel toe, right? Weird. And I'm like, oh my god, that would be so sick because, like, when you skate and you're poor, you have to duct tape the bottom, yeah, of yeah, and your ollie pad, about. right? Yeah. And so I'm like, dude, these will last forever. So I bought them. Like two weeks later, the metal started like eating into my toe, Damn. and they were terrible. They were really? terrible that shoes sucks. for skateboarding. So that's where Ruck comes from. Nice. Mm. Stevie, you're up. Rucksack fucking. <sighs> I don't. I don't remember which fucking Jordans they were. It's those shoes. No, I'm kidding. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. At one time, Danger you know skins, what's funny? Huh? You know what's funny? At one point in time, I always did want snakes. 
<laughs> yeah, right. But for real, but uh, those Jordans, when they came out, I don't remember which ones they were, but they had the little thing on the back, that little hoop. I wanted those fuckers so bad. And they're hella expensive now, Are you talking course, about, like, you the know? gray ones and the black mm-hmm. ones and the purple and they had all the different colors on them? Uh, just these get, ones like, just had black. There was so black my brother had, there. like, Jordan 2, like, the very second game that I ever came out. Oh, my God. That was so fucking awesome. I got him these hand-me-downs. Holy shit. They're so fucking amazing. Those are almost like one of those shoes, though. I don't know if I really want to wear them very much. Oh, you know, my God. My kids are <laughs> big in the sneakers. Well, I, I mean, just, like, scuffing. Well, like, my those Adidas that I wear now, you know? Right. Like, ah, oh, fuck, dude. Those are, like, probably one of my favorites. But, like... You know, like when you scuff them or if somebody steps on them right away, it's like, I mean, it's to be expected. So my dudes, so I wear these fucking, uh, everybody in my band's like, dude, we'd be so much cooler if you don't wear like old man shoes. Like, seriously? (laughs) So what shoes do I need to buy to make sure that we're cooler? Yeah, Converse? Uh, because that's cool. Well, Jeff is like, oh, they make shoes like bands that are really cool. Mine. I'm like, I know, I know. Yeah. I w- They're I- old, but I fucked them up. But <laughs> they're cool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I never thought that somebody would be, like, attacking my shoes. Dude, you're wearing Asics. Those are comfortable. They're, they're oh, too- sure. super comfy. Yeah, they're... Long mowing, they're for jogging, they're for loafing, fucking, smoking cigars, yeah, no, yeah. drinking beer, yeah. chopping wood, yeah. chopping Set wood, fence posts, yelling at your chest. Jeremy. What do you wear? What do I wear? Yeah, what's your shoes? Under Armour. There you go. Comfortable, I bet. Oh. Bryce Harper oh. likes that shit. The comfy shit, right? <laughs> yep, he's ready for war. Speaking of comfort. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm sick of losing my shoes when they go to the lake. Like, I'm sick of getting, like, my leather sandals messed up. So I bought a pair of, like, Kivas. And Stevie's like, dude, you know. I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm going to wear these. Like, that's going to happen when you go to the water. So I put them on. Most comfortable shoe I've ever put on my foot ever in my entire life. Yeah. It, was, it took my breath away. I, like, it was Don't so amazing. I'm like, you know, I'm going to wear these all the time. Like, I'm going to wear these. I'm not gonna come in public. <laughs> I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, I'm gonna wear like, this hot rod shit. And you yeah. can't wear that. Yeah. 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 yeah, so sorry. that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> but I can't wear strappy old man sandals. Shout out Sean Ingle, dude, okay. man. That wait, guy wait, wears that. Right. So we were ready to talk seven. about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's what? talk about the music festival. Okay, so I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm a little slow, everyone. Okay, if you haven't noticed by looking at me, he's, uh, been, he's been trucking all day long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're gonna do the giveaway thing, and what we're talking about is tag your mate or who are the fucking one to bring to the show right now yeah. in the comments. Here's the biggest deed straight from the source right here. The yeah. man Lee Hardy. What the fuck's going on oh, in the you. summer jam? Let's hear it. Thank you, dude. So, yeah. Jeez. Uh, no pressure. Chia, yeah. chia, summer jam. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. This is not that big of a deal, but it's. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, I've always wanted to do, like, a music festival in, in Casper. I think it's been something that's been, like, needed, like super necessary. We should have. Like, Bear Trap's obviously really cool, but it's its own kind of... Uh, you know, it's kind of its own animal, and it's up right. on the mountain, and it's out of town, and, and things like that, which, yeah. Kind of, it's fun, but it's kind of inconvenient. Yeah, in yeah, and, you know, and they kind of have their own, like, it's bluegrass and new grass and country, which yeah. is super dope, and, like, but I think we need to have one in town. Um, I've been wanting to do it for about four years, and, uh, but I was looking for a venue where we could have, uh, basically, the crowd have grass to chill on that for whatever reason that was like the four-year holdout on my part for having a music festival <laughs> Looking for grass. was grass because i hey, just yeah i know it's yeah right yeah. so high maintenance but or whatever but yeah no i just think it's it's fun like if you get to go to a music festival and we have so much like 
land in Wyoming and there's so much space and so few people like it was important to me to find something like that because so we wanted to do something where I wanted to do somewhere the crowd could literally just pull up and anyway the stage is going to be f back center at Mike Lansing Field so the entire crowd will get a chill in the grass outfield which is about the size of like two and a half football fields so there's plenty of room for everybody to like bring one of these nice fishing chairs that these guys got me and uh Sorry, Manute Bowl. A few people will get that joke. Yeah, I get it. Uh, <laughs> it comes with a fanny pack. It, yeah, it's tight. Uh, <laughs> super clutch. <laughs> but anyway, no, that was the, that was kind of the main caveat to me. I just think it would be a lot more enjoyable for the crowd if everybody got a chill on the grass. So that's what we're doing. We're running one uh, gates open at one. First act will probably start at one thirty. What day though? And uh, August twenty <laughs> first, Saturday, August twenty first. Anyway, uh, gate will open at one. First band will start about one thirty, um, and we've got several bands. The bands that I, uh, you know, kind of I guess chose are various different genres, but bands that I all that I personally respect and think they play really good music uh in their respective genres so i think that's important it's it's important to have cool uh or excuse me different styles of music Heck yeah. but it's important that uh for a big festival for those kind of bands to be uh with good talent and clean and, and play and play uh i don't mean clean like not cuss words i mean just like clean musicians and, and good music in their respective genres Right. So that's why I picked these people because uh, I respect them and I like them, and most of them I'm friends with too, unfortunately. But. <laughs> yeah, we anyway. apologize. So. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we're just gonna have a music festival. Brief synopsis: Gates up at one. First band starts at one thirty. We'll run to nine thirty, uh, and we're gonna have a big beer pong tournament, a big cornhole tournament, a big beers be tournament. If you've never played Beersby, Beersby is like the funnest fucking game ever. Have you guys ever played Beersby? No, sir. No, yes. Oh, my gosh. It's so fun. You guys got to come play. It's it's just such a it fun game. Fun. For me to describe it, I wouldn't do it justice, but it's kind of a fun game. Anyway, a bunch of fun yard games out on the grass oh, yeah. and uh, a big stage, big sound system, good bands, uh, food. We're going to have a bunch of summer drinks, a full bar, and like a beer garden, too. We ordered a bunch of those like whalebone drinks, like you know when if you're like walking around Vegas and you see oh, those big like see. plastic drinks. We ordered a bunch of those cups, and we're gonna like sell those branded cups with like summer drinks on, like whatever, like a margarita or a pina colada or whatever. Cool. So it's gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, and then uh, the lineup, obviously, if you haven't heard, uh, super amazing, guys. dude. It really is like, cool. He really like did a really good job on Thank this. Thank you, bro. Yeah, like, I'm stoked. For real, on it, dude. Too. Like, this is a legit fucking summer fest, guys. Like, I this agree. lineup's sick, dude. Just listen. Look I, what you got, bud. Dude, I appreciate that, because I, I think so, too. So, yeah, we're having System Restore play, which, uh, if you don't know, I, I don't want to talk too much about these bands on their behalf. We can talk about the Shivers, because Travis is here, yeah. <laughs> and he yeah. and he's, he's, he's in the Shivers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, System Restore, super good uh, punk rock band that's toured with all kinds of great bands are super clean super tight like uh brent and those guys just really good if you like punk rock you'll really like them super yeah, talented Sister musicians sure kind of like bad religion dude dope. yeah like yeah that oh, would equate that's cool. a good that's a good I like that that's a yeah. good equate yeah. there like they're badass and this is in no random order because we haven't determined the order of the festival yet so and then uh we have beastwood playing which if you haven't heard beastwood beastwood's super fun they're kind of like a doom Doom, doom metal, southern psychedelic metal, crazy, like kind of super individual style. So mm -hmm. we're super, to ha super stoked to have them. They're a cool group of dudes. Blake's one of my good friends, and uh, okay. Blake. they're gonna be cool to see too. Uh, and then yeah, we have the Shivers playing, Travis's band, yeah, and uh, he's okay. to uh, yeah. <laughs> Not to toot their horn Suck. too much while he's here, but my God, I saw these guys yeah, play with rip, Sack rip, the other day. Totally and, dude, so good. I've seen him play three times, and the last time when I saw him play, like, two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah two weeks ago. Two, three yeah. weeks ago so at Kagan Cork. 
such a well-oiled machine just play like clean clean yep. super fast driven like upbeat positive punk rock like just super dope and uh if you don't know travis travis is in the band travis has been in jesus how many bands what do you want to talk about calvin recliner big way back sexy. in the day big sexy were you in calvin recliner did no. i just mess that up he was in big sexy i just dropped the ball on that hand me downs big, big sexy. sexy now the shivers, shivers. <laughs> And then I remember one time, like, like five people will get this do- joke, but Schlep Rock was supposed to come, and they didn't come, so Alex put Schlep Rock on the Hence fire. the Rock. The rock <laughs> because his nickname was Rock. Yeah, anyway. I heard the story. This is an old, <laughs> that was awesome. It's an old punk rock story, dude. <laughs> that was a, that's an old school punk rock story. Anyway. Super clean, super, like I said, just super, just a well-oiled machine with, with the punk rock. Just clean, and I love it. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Cephas, I want to talk about him a little bit. He's going to be DJing between every band. Uh, Cephas is, my gosh, this young Thai kid uh, that moved here from L.A. Cool. Who's a DJ, and I don't mean a DJ that like <coughs> plugs his iPod in and right. plays music. Like a DJ that actually makes his own Cool. Music. That's nice. fucking legit. I like that. Super phenomenal. This kid is so talented. And he's yeah. going to play between every band, which is going to be super here. fucking dope. And then Easy Side's going to play, which is going to be incredible. Yeah, Everybody yeah, loves them. Easy Side. They always put out a good So show. good. So they're, good. They are really well old. They've been around Dude, forever. Like, 100%. Like Brennan, Bobby Love, shit. Jared, Fuck all yeah. those guys. All dude. those guys are fucking awesome. Straight Jedi. Sure. Yeah. Something cool that we're we're looking at doing is we we're sending a few tra- easy side tracks over to Cephas the DJ and he's gonna do like maybe a screwed mix Ooh, thing. Screwed um, that's gonna be cool. Yeah, 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 where they can actually like <laughs> perform it together Ooh, on stage. Oh like, man! So Easy Side's own music, but like yeah, with Cephas so cool. like doing his own collab on top of it, which is gonna be fucking dope. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Luke Casey. We gotta talk about Luke Casey. Dude, Luke, Luke Casey was on He was on your guys' podcast. Yeah, yeah, he's so dope. Like, he's such a cool hands guy. Hands down one of the best rappers in town. Yeah, For yeah, sure, hundred percent. So good, dude. That guy like is blood, sweat, and tears. Kind yeah, of, like, for sure. Okay. What we're talking about, like, uh, about all this all about all these artists, like he does all this shit. He writes it, he promotes it, he does the label, he He's like uh, produces, fucking, makes all yeah, the he, beats. He's dude. Like Sick all beat maker. Over it. He's A to Z, his own shit. And it's dope. He's, he's a hard working motherfucker. So if you guys don't know who Luke Casey is, check him out, man. He's fucking awesome. Yeah. Straight out of Castle so on good. Side. So good. Shit. Yeah, dude. And him, he's got his own record label now, Ghost Gang Records. So shout out to Which them. Which is a cool ass name, too. Yeah. Super dope. But I got to see these guys, Lucchese and his, basically the artist that he's working with, perform out at Alcova the other day. Uh, and it was fucking phenomenal. Because yeah. I'm not a person that like, when I like to, I don't know, I'm a huge hip hop fan. I'm a hip hop head from way back in the day. Like, you know, my heart's always in punk rock and I like all yeah. genres of music, but like, I'm a hip hop head too. And even like some of my favorite hip hop groups, um, aren't the most exciting live. Yeah, touche, man. You know what yeah. I mean? Because even though they're super gifted, like when you see right. it live, especially when you're used to seeing a band, like a six-piece up there just shredding shit in half, and you see, you know, a DJ and an MC, or, you know, four MCs with mics, like, backing them up, and sometimes it's not the most exciting. Luke Hazy's new stuff that he has with this, this young group of kids that I'll name, I call, excuse me, you're not kids, I'm just old. They're, they're, they're young men, and they're studs. Um, but anyway, um, these guys, super talented, but anyway, they basically, like, uh, Nathaniel Lucas, is going to perform a few songs and then we're going to collaborate on like five or six songs Sweet. with this group he's got. Nice. And like I said, dude, we went out to the show at Alcova and like, I just went to check him out, uh, cause I'm friends with Nathaniel, like I said, and I was just blown away by like their stage presence, their flow. They yeah. like would sing hooks. And also flow at the same time. Like, it was like a whole ass thing. You know what nice. I mean? Fuck yeah. So he's, Luke Hazy's playing, and oh my gosh, I'm going to screw these names up for sure. You got it. But they're great. You got it. And uh, yeah, no, Luke Hazy, and then like these, the, the MCs and, and like singers and DJs he's working with. Like this, this it's basically like a, 
all uh, all star hip hop group that he's compiled, Fuck and they're yeah. fucking sick. Anyway, uh, Luke Hayes is going to perform with um, Udo, PG, these two young men, both sick. Uh, 4K Vaughn, super nice flow, just clean, Manny. Uh, Reese the Dawn, again, super clean flow. Like, these guys are good. Reese the Dawn. Reese I like that. the Dawn. I like it too. <laughs> he's a young Dawn. And he's good. He but... Reese the Dawn. Dawn. Yeah. Dawn. 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 Yeah. Well, he may elevate to that. He dude. could. But, dude, he's... Just he's needs a G, bro. Possibilities. He's one <laughs> letter away. But, yeah, he's super nice. That Super clean, man. Um, Diz Game, Zay, and uh, DJ Bags is their DJ. So they're going to kind of do like... A, it's just going to be like a brief 45-minute performance they're doing. Dude, but it's going to be like an all-star crew. And it's going to be super cool. entertaining. It's going to be super dope to see that. That'll be fun, man. And then, of course, the headliner is uh, Ryan Charles, like young brother out of fucking Buffalo, Wyoming. That's just if you oh, haven't. Is that a Buffalo? I thought it was Jackson. No, no, he's oh, from Buffalo. Oh, oh, um, really cool. cool. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, so just north. I know he lived in Cheyenne Hometown for a while. Hometown boy. Straight. No. Straight Wyoming MC. And if you haven't, I'm sure you've all checked out Ryan Charles. But if you haven't, do it. As soon as you stop watching this. Google, or excuse me, YouTube Ryan Charles, watch a few of his videos. He's yeah, so, so good. So yeah, nice. He's so, good. He's so I'm not nice. A that, guy, but I do like dude, that. he's so he's, nice. You know, I got I got something I got something Go ahead. about the Ryan Charles. So you see this painting right here? Mm. Mm -hmm. So when my uh buddy was here, um from Mitchell back home. So Mitchell, like South Dakota, from, that's where you're from? Yes, sir. Oh wow, dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, Keith Haynes is from there. Shout out Keith Haynes. Yeah, Haines. Keith Haynes. Yeah, Keith. Yeah. Fucking, uh, That's wild. I just stumbled upon Ryan Charles, right? And it wasn't the getting Western song. It was, uh, I think the fuck's it called? No, it's, I'm from the country. I like a roll. If I read a book. Yeah, yeah. I know that, so I dude, know I fucking here. seriously jammed out to that song for hours on end. Dude, on he's repeat. so and nice. And look at this. Though. That's what was produced. Oh, really? You just, I was just vibing on that and just yes, painted that picture. That's yeah. dope, dude. Super dope. Yeah. He's super nice, that dude. He's so clean. He doesn't take himself seriously. Like, he, like to try to describe Ryan Charles like a group, it's like, oh, he's a Wyoming country guy that is an MC. And, like, so instantly, like, if I hear country rap, I'm like, pass. Yeah, too shame. It's a fucking pass for me, dude. dude it's no, no, almost no, not to be a hater, but yeah, like yeah. almost you know, like Kevin Rock? almost every time. I mean, yeah, we're related. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, I can tell. <laughs> not, to, not to, uh, not no, not to, not to be a hater, but yeah, usually, yeah. like on that nine tens out of ten for me, it's gonna be a pass, and that. Yeah. But that I don't think that accurately accurately describes his genre at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's no, like. like Um, okay, like, is it like Jelly Roll ish? Because I've heard it. No. It's way better. It's Fuck Jelly Roll. Like, Ryan Charles, way better. Yeah. I'm saying that on the air. Hashtag right now. Ryan Charles. All right. All right. Well, I Come can't Come find wait me, to Jelly Roll. I'm in Wyoming. Yeah. I can't wait to check him out. I know I've heard a song or two. But super good. Like, hanging out with you. But yeah. Anyway, to describe his genre doesn't really do him justice, but he's super clean, super nice. That His beats are so ill, and it's just his flow is so nice. And he doesn't take himself seriously. He raps Wyoming super hard, and he's funny and smooth at the same time. Like, I really can't give the guy enough credit. And we're lucky to have him play because he's, like, just now blowing up to where his YouTube videos are getting, like, awesome. absurd amounts of views. Awesome. So, like, we're getting him, like, right on the cusp and, like, cool-ass, humble dude, and he's going to fucking crush, absolutely crush the main event. I like, I mean, every, everybody... Is going to be dancing for that. It's going to be a good time. So, anyway, yeah, that's you my piece. Have a song you can play? Uh, Brian Charles, in case they haven't heard it. Like, well, yeah. I, I, I posted some earlier on the page, yeah. or I posted the one, but. Um, we'll post one in the comments. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Uh, this is all I want to say. You haven't hit this point, dude. Go ahead. So, Lee called me up and he's like, hey, dude, will you do. This is what I'm doing. You've heard, you, you already know what's going on. And uh, I think we all have, like, these high... Uh, personally, I was like, I know Lee is a punk rocker. 
Uh, you know, fuck yeah. but I Forever. also know yeah. <laughs> Lee likes different music, and I, I was like, dude, we're gonna do whatever to help you out. Like yeah. the shivers are down. Like, yeah, so we made the deal, and what you all have to understand is like this show. I, I hear so many people like, yeah, it's really expensive for like local bands. Bullshit. So, but here's the thing, <laughs> it's it's not that expensive. It really isn't. What you have to realize is, like, Lee's putting his foot out for this show, mm -hmm. and <laughs> it's what he really wants to do. Like, we talked about Rancid. Yeah, totally. We talked about Pennywise coming, oh, yeah. or, like, huge, like, people yeah. Thank coming you for into the town. And it was like, dude, let's, this first show, let's, like, let's do local bands, it's gonna like bring your cost down. We're gonna put on a rad show with like all these local bands who kick ass. And but what you all have to realize if you guys don't show up, we're not gonna get the Anybody, next level yeah. bands. Yeah. Exactly. So that is the the key to this whole thing. Next year, you guys come this year, it's gonna and kick it kick ass mm -hmm. like we're gonna get better bands right Lee? totally completely that's so cool. yeah yeah so absolutely. i want to piggyback on that a little bit yeah from like living here for as long as i have and watching live music and like that shaping me as a person it's like everybody's always bitching about like oh we need more shit in casper we need more shit in casper. It's it's like man. you don't want to show out and like show up for your local shit that's happening and it's like you know those shows are generally you know what I mean? And these bands are working so hard and like doing all of these right. things, and they're like, you know, the whole the whole town is like, we need more of this, we need more of that. They they always want to say they want more of that, but when it comes time for that, it's like, listen, we need to put our money in and 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 like focus on those things so we can make it happen. And like, he's the first person in years, years that's actually. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. <laughs> you. You're being sweet for saying that. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah, not, not, real, only, not only putting like local bands in, in the highlights that they need to be in, like really the really most talented people in our town, but also like like exactly like you said, it's like if you want these things to happen, you need to put in. You know what I mean? It's like, and it's not just watching local bands. He's got all these things for kids to do. It's like, what, you pay 25 bucks to go to Jump Craze. Like, like twenty five yeah. bucks to go, you know what I mean? You take three kids to the swimming pool. Twenty five yep. bucks. You know what I mean? And how the many movies? That's you, 50. Yeah, like fifty bucks to take two kids to the movies. Like you're putting in this money in different things. It's like he is providing everything that we want right now. It's a place for kids to go. It's a place for vendors to go. It's a place for local bands to play. Like what more could you possibly want? It's a place for all of us to gather together and like back on the time when we were watching local bands all the time and it meant everything to us and it's like you know what i mean we Fuck need yeah. to put more effort and in, into Agreed. our local talent and our local artists and all of these things and it's like no he has like, a vision yeah, it's insane huge, like i don't mean to like yep. fluff your nuts but honestly huge <laughs> shout out to me not fluff but like huge <laughs> yeah. shout out to me for like bringing that stuff back because it's been years like we've been asking for like 10 10 to 15 years like who yeah. is going to do this right like, who is going to bring <laughs> my dude yeah who's going to bring these like hard working bands and not just bands people artists yep, you know what I, mean? like I said you are like even Jeremy like five of the hardest working dudes I know that like are so passionate about what you do and are self made like you're working it's just like the DJ he was talking about like he does everything on his own Stevie does everything on his own with Jake. Lee does everything on his own. Jeremy does everything with his band. Like, you're just so passionate about what you do, and there's not enough people that are like, they, they want to complain about what's not there. They're not, they're not willing to take the time to, like, put in. So anybody that wants to bitch about 25 bucks, think about that next time you go to the movies. Think about the next time you take the kids to jump craze. Think about the next time you go to a local show, and you're like, a $5 cover? You know what I mean? It's like uh, if you if you don't if you don't oh. help 
the local scene and what these hardworking dudes are doing, nothing bigger is ever going to come. Never. Right. Yeah. That's never, key. Ever. We will. It's not gonna he happen. will bring huge bands, but you have to come to and this what, one. And what people yeah. don't understand yeah. too is like what he's putting on the line to make these things happen. You know what I mean? Like that's a huge risk, a dream and a risk at the same time. Yeah. Like, huge risk. Show support. Like make this happen, or you know what I mean? Like it's it's not gonna happen again. Uh, so that's it, that's my TED talk. You're welcome. Jeez. <laughs> That being said, maybe we should do one more fucking giveaway. Yeah. We're at like one an more. hour and 35 huh? minutes, folks. Go. No, no, go. Never go. 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 Okay, okay. Gotcha. 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 Do you want to talk about the kids with like the hat on camera? Okay. Oh, they have the list too. Yeah, we got Oh, yeah. giveaway. 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 Give, give, give <laughs> I, I think that was two. No, it was just one. What number we got? Number five. That is Julie Rowland bringing Marley Doherty. Doherty. Yay! Oh. Yeah. You can't rest me! <laughs> you can't do that! No. Yes, I can! She got it the first work. She was watching. So. We, we, oh, good? we good? We good? Should we close this motherfucker? Should we close this motherfucker out? We good? Okay, so, like, we got enough people to draw from the hat for the fucking uh, yeah, giveaway. Yeah. We got a lot of people. How many more tickets do we want to give away? Like, we. We gave away two live dudes. All right. Well, and we'll figure this out. Them. So we got a bunch of names in the hats. Like, keep posting. We'll message you guys if you guys won these or whatever. Thank everybody for tuning in. Yeah, all we that good stuff. Yeah. And uh, shout out to the ladies that uh, are in the yeah, background the writing all the names cast. down. Happy Friday. Love you, Casper. Yep. Thanks, Travis. Thanks, Lee. Marley, yeah. we're going to the this. show. We hella appreciate everybody watching. You guys being on. So amazing, boy, I tell you Ch what. Ch Chia. <laughs> You're kidding me. I'm 60.